Hey guys, welcome back to Your Lake Fort Guide, another episode of the Guides Network. And today, I'm going to tell you about the best fishing bait that I have found new in 2020. I figure this year's had enough bad. Let's talk about some of the good that came about in 2020. Y'all stay tuned. So before we dig into this new bait that I found in 2020, I do want to give you guys the disclaimer. This is going to sound like a Six Sense plug. Yes, I am sponsored by SixSenseFishing.com. By the way, you're going to hear about a lot of stuff from Six Sense Fishing to help you rig out this new bait. You can go order any of that stuff at SixSenseFishing.com. You can punch in that disc, that code, your Lake Fort Guide. It'll get you a 10% discount on anything you order. But wanted to be upfront about that. This is going to sound like a sponsor plug. I'm just going to be. It, it's not. It's not. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not a sponsor plug. This really has been the most effective new bait I've found this year. Uh, this really is the tools that I use to rig it out with. It just so happens that Six Sense Fishing is an unbelievably high-end, high-quality fishing equipment company. And all the stuff they make is the best you can find for that category or that tool or that option, whatever it may be. They don't release anything if it's not up to the highest of standards. So, yes, I use a lot of Six Sense Fishing products. And... Uh, for those of you that follow the channel and see the fish that we catch out here week in, week out most weeks, it does a job. It puts them in the boat. You know, I wouldn't be using something. At the end of the day, it's my job to put fish in the boat for myself and also as well with guide customers, make sure they're catching fish. So I'm only going to use equipment that I can trust to get bit on a consistent basis. Six Sense Fishing absolutely fits that bill. So I apologize for sounding like a sponsor plug right up front, but this is the real stuff. If you've been on my boat, you know this is what we use. So here we go. So the bait that I'm going to talk to you guys about today it came out right at the beginning of the year. We kind of start. We had some of them, prototypes and such, at the end of last year, but the actual official release wasn't until the beginning of 2020. So it's a new bait to 2020. Uh, when I first saw the bait, I thought it was one of the most well-rounded, hit a bunch of key bite-getting factors, well-designed baits that I'd ever seen. So without further ado the bait that i'm referring to is going to be the stroker crawl from six cents fishing of course uh, this is the grass candy color it's a color i like when they come out of the package they're going to look like this right here this is grass candy it's got that green flake on one side uh, i'm sorry blue flake on one side and that uh purple flake on the other and then you just you're gonna the claws are going to come attached you're going to want to go ahead and detach these claws like this right here that's going to give it the great swimming action so as i first got this bait when i looked at the design of it a it's got kind of a beaver style body but smaller more compact narrower uh you don't always necessarily want a bigger bait man i'm here at lake fort right behind me i'm sitting on it right now it's the king of big baits for big bites and i get all that but there are certain baits that you want to be more compact you don't want fish to be able to pick up a tail of a bait and carry it off at certain times we throw this bait a lot in the spring i bed fish with this bait a lot uh, that is a time of year when fish will tend to grab the back end so a smaller more compact body is great also if you're throwing it in heavy cover having a narrower body like it does have over most beaver styles gets it in and out of that cover better now the appendages on this bait are nothing short of genius to me and they look really really simple when you look at them but seriously guys this is nothing short of pure genius the way they design these appendages because when this bait sits still wind's blowing today if you can't tell when this bait sits still that's what the appendages do underwater they sit there and they look like claws it looks like a true crawfish and they'll wiggle around and undulate around a little bit but they'll stay folded up when the bait is resting so when you pitch it in there and it falls and it sits that bait looks like a crawfish sitting there with those legs folded up but when you swim it it pulls these legs down and it becomes swimmers kickers it, it's like having a berkeley chigger crawl and a strike king rage crawl in the same bait and a zoom speed crawl to some degree because it has a little bit thinner appendages and will kick at a slower speed than a rage crawl will so it, it really married when i saw this and i really thought about how it was going to work in the water and i looked at it in the water it just marries the best attributes of every crawl bait that i've ever used those were my top before this my top crawl baits ever i had a chigger crawl a rage crawl and a speed crawl 
and they were all a little bit different and I had to carry all three of them. Now I just carry one because when I want to fish real slow and subtle, I used to use that chigger crawl and it'd give me that slow undulating crawfish arm profile flap. Well, this will do that at a slow speed. When I wanted to fish fast and have an aggressive fall, I used a rage crawl. Well, this will do that when it falls fast, the arms unfold and swim. And if I wanted to have something that would kick at a real slow speed and have kind of a smaller water disturbance with less pressure making the legs kick, I would use a speed crawl. Well, this does that too. I mean, this, this bait, this is the reason I make this my number one new bait of 2020. This bait is everything you could ever want in a crawl bait all in one bait. You don't have to have the multiple baits anymore. In my opinion, every single person on earth that bass fishes should have stroker crawls in their boat. So I've kind of told you why I think the bait is so good. It, and uh, you know, just to give you guys a little bit of evidence, those of you that know me know that I'm crazy about sight fishing, absolutely crazy about sight fishing. And I've used different baits over the years. And you know, the bait's really not the most important part about sight fishing. I'll be the first to tell you that. But I do pick a bait that I have to, I have to have a lot of confidence in a bait to use it sight fishing. And this year the stroker crawl became my sight fishing bait and it is literally the only bait that I threw out of bed this entire season and we had some unbelievably good days sight fishing out here on lake fork catching some of the tougher bed fish you'll ever find uh, so this bait really really good it felt like and it seemed like at times to me this year we had more first flip bites on beds than usual and that was a big confidence builder for me early in the year with this bait when i would pitch it into a bed a fish would just come in there and eat it right away that's not very normal out here on Lake Fork at all. These fish get so much pressure, especially that time of year, sight fishing, man. You come out here and it looks like a merry-go-round on the bank. Everybody's looking at them. Uh, so those fish see a lot of baits. And to have as many fish as I did this year come up and bite it on the first pitch really built a lot of confidence in me on the stroker crawl. So let's talk about rigging. How do we rig them up? So what are we going to need to rig these baits up? There's a few different ways to rig them. First one's going to be a Texas rig. It's going to look something like this. And I'll explain all those components. A uh, second is going to be a jig. I actually love to use this as a jig trailer. This is a 3 8 ounce jig in dark water color. That's the Nirvana color trailer. Matches it perfectly. Uh, if you want a, a good throw it 365 days a year jig, go to Six Cents, get the hybrid jig, get the dark water color, and go get the Nirvana prawn. Marry those two together, and you got a year-round jig that you can catch fish on anytime. And the third way I'm going to like to rig it up is going to be a Carolina rig. And I'll show you more about this rig in here in a minute. Let's go over all the equipment you're going to need to rig these baits, to rig these stroker crawls in all these different ways. All right, first thing you're going to need, of course, is stroker crawls. You're going to need you a couple different colors. Go pick out the ones you like. I really like a lot of the green stuff. I like Nirvana, which is green and black and blue. I like black and blue. I like green pumpkin. I like green pumpkin magic. Uh, gr this grass candy, when it's a really bright, bright day and I need a lot of flake, I want a lot of sparkle. I love throwing a lot of well, like heavy flake baits on on sunny days grass candy is really really good uh, but you're going to need your stroker crawls you're going to need some six cents ox four odd hooks and you're going to need some stout wide gap hooks all these can be found at six fishing.com also you're going to need some tungsten i typically use quarter ounce and three eighths ounces typically the two weights that i'm going to use 99 percent of the time when i'm texas rigging a stroker crawl all right so let's talk about the first one and the simplest one and probably the most common is going to be a texas rig this is a quarter ounce pitch black chip proof tungsten from six cents this is a four out ox flipping hook from six cents and this is of course my stroker crawl uh, that's how i'm going to rig that up i'm going to throw this on 20 pound line i'm going to throw this on a 7.3 heavy sensory series rod the sensory series is one of the more expensive lines of rods that six cents offers but hey it's the lightest and most sensitive blank I've ever used in my life. And all these techniques that we're gonna talk about with the stroker crawl, they're all what I call dragon techniques. Uh, you're moving that bait real slow. And a lot of times those real slow moving baits will draw a real subtle bite. So it's kind of important, it's kind of worth it. You can do it with cheaper rods, absolutely. You could use a Lux series. You could use one of the Millican rods from Six Cents. Any of that you can use. They're all good rods and I understand budgetary concerns. But if you have the ability, the opportunity to spend more money, spend it on a rod that you're gonna be dragging baits with. Because that's where the sensitivity and really feeling that bite comes more into play, more so than say uh, a moving bait would, a crank bait or a, a swim bait or a spinner bait. You don't need the sensitivity as much as you do when you're dragging a bait. So I'm using the Century Series 7.3 Heavy to Texas rig, my stroker crawls. 
Uh, on the jig, if I use the finesse jig, I'll use the same 7.3 heavy uh, rod, Century Series rod. But when I'm throwing the 3 8 and half ounce jig, I'm going to actually use the 7.7 seven heavy Century Series rod. Really good jig rod. I love it. I use it for it all the time. I throw a lot, a lot of jigs. And then on the Carolina rig, on this rig right here, I'm actually using the same rod, the 7.7. Seven, seven, hopefully, y'all can see all that. I'm using the 7.7 seven, seven Heavy on my Carolina rig. Now, let's talk about my Carolina rig a little bit because you'll probably notice it's a little bit different. So, I, I use these bobber stops. And what that does is if I have a break off, especially if I have a break off on the hook, I can now simply slide these bobber stops up the line and I only have to tie one knot. If you use a traditional swivel, you've got to tie three knots every time you break off. So, it just saves me some time. Also, gives me a little extra versatility when I'm, you know, if I want to change the length of my leader, say the wind picks up, I want to tighten my leader down a little bit, or I want a little less action, or I want a little more action. Any of those reasons, I may want to change the length of my leader. The longer your leader, the more action the bait's going to have, the shorter, the less. Um, this allows me to kind of change on the fly, change on the go. If I do have to retie because i got a bad spot in my line somewhere in my leader, slide it up, retie one knot, and boom, I'm going. just helps me be more efficient. And now, there are a lot of times when I like to go silent on my Carolina rig, and I'll go one single one ounce weight with no bead. But here lately, I've been wanting to make a lot of noise. So what I've actually done is taken two half ounce weights. So I got this click, and then I got this click. So I got both clickers. I got double clacking going on, lots of noise being made. Try that every once in a while. Also, this is more slender. It's a narrower profile than a one ounce weight is it actually doesn't get hung up like almost ever you almost never get the weights hung up when you rig them like this so really effective way to rig my carolina rig i really like it uh, and then i'm using of course the stout wide gap hook is my carolina rig hook of choice uh, this one right here is a five watt really needs to be a four out a four out is the right hook both in the ox flipping hook and the wide gap hook uh, four out is the right size for the stroke crawl. So there's all the equipment and all the rigging. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I'm using 20 pound fluorocarbon for my line on all of those uh, different ways of rigging that bait. So that's everything that I use to rig them up. Now, as you can tell by the different ways we can rig them up, one of my favorite things about this is there's a way to fish this bait in every part of the water column. Uh, and this bait, those legs, the way they work at a slow speed, the way they work at a medium, and the way they work at a high speed, um, it just has such great bite getting qualities that I want to find a way to present that bait, that stroker crawl, to fish in every part of the water column, no matter where they might be. Because I know I have confidence if I get that bait in front of fish, it gets bites. Um, so Texas rig, that's gonna be my shallow approach. If I'm up shallow, I'm flipping around cover, I'm looking at beds, some shallow dock fishing, man, I'm gonna use that Texas rig. I'll also, in some cases, use the 3 8 ounce jig, or I'll put this on a finesse jig and fish it up shallow around docks and shallow cover. Same deal with the Texas rig. Finesse jig is a Texas rig with a skirt as far as the way I fish that stroker crawl. Now, my 3 8 and half ounce jigs. Now, this is gonna be my medium depth range, my deeper docks. Uh, my my mid-depth creek bends in six foot eight foot ten foot twelve foot uh, depth ranges like that when I'm fishing creek channel bends docks standing timber on a point in that depth those type of things like that I'm gonna use a 3 8 or a half ounce jig and I'm gonna use that stroke across the trailer so that's another way I can get this great bite getter in front of some fish and then last but certainly not least the Carolina rig I tied it up somewhere but the Carolina rig of course is going to be my deeper bait once I get out to about 15 feet and deeper I'm going to use that stroke crawl on the Carolina rig fishing main lake points road beds pond dams humps ledges you name it if I can find them on the old electronics right here out deep that Carolina rig will get that stroke crawl down there to it present it in an efficient effective way and get me some bites because like I said guys this bait gets bit all right, guys, thank y'all so much for watching today. Hey, if you want to know some more about how to fish these different techniques to get bites using that stroker crawl, please look up some of our videos. We've made videos on sight fishing. We've made videos on Texas rigging. We've made it on Carolina rigging. We've made it on jig fishing. Uh, you can look up all of those right here on your Lake Fort Guide. Just search your Lake Fort Guide jig fishing, your Lake Fort Guide Carolina rig and you'll find those instructional videos that myself and maybe even possibly some other guides or pros have done for you here on this channel uh, and we give you all the details on how we fish that individual technique so that's just a little too much info for me to put all in one video i've probably been rambling long enough thank you guys 
thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video i sincerely appreciate it hey leave me a comment let me know if you have any questions let me know what your favorite bait of 2020 was that came out new to you this year what bait did you find this year that had the most success for you i'd love to hear that as well because i might hold jumpy and try to fish them myself uh, but overall man just thank y'all so very much for everything y'all continue to do just clicking on these videos watching them sharing them telling your buddies about them however it is that you guys go about participating in this community that we call your lake fort guide uh, I can't thank y'all enough. I'm going to keep trying to help y'all any way I can. I wanted to bring you guys this bait because it's got so many bites for me this year um, that I really wanted to share that with you. One more way that I, I didn't mention, I don't know why I didn't mention this, is it's showing enough catches. I mean, we caught a pile of them in one of our episodes this year doing it. Uh, the Biffle Head, the old swing heads, uh, Six Cents makes a three quarter ounce swing head with a screw lock, really good swing head. And I had caught a lot of summertime fish using that stroker crawl on a three quarter ounce swing head. And I'll go ahead, y'all seeing some of the highlights from that video right now. I'll try to link that video somewhere in here as well. But uh, we smacked them on that swing head this year in the summer. That's another great bait, man. Basically find anything that you can fish a creature bait on, find an effective delivery system for the type of cover and the depth you're fishing, put that stroker crawl on it and go get you a bunch of bites. Hey, head over there to sixcentsfishing.com, order that up, order up all the rigging equipment that you need. When you do, punch in the code, your Lake Fort Guide, get the 10% discount on anything you order. I'll stop rambling for real this time. Thank you guys so very much for watching today and we will see you next time right here on your Lake Fort Guide. Oh, ready? Oh, Superman.